Hello everybody, in this tutorial I will give you a brief background of the course offerings. Right, now over here in this course you can expect a complete knowledge of Core Java after you finish the course. Core Java is very essential for Selenium, it is required and many people do the mistake of not learning Core Java. They directly jump over to Selenium, you don't need to do that. In this course, the first 7 modules are on Core Java and 90% of the people coming to us, they are manual testers, they don't know Core Java, so the videos and the training is built for them only. Right. Moreover, you can also learn how to build scripts on WebDriver, how do you run them on Grid parallelly, right, using TestNG, JUnit, Maven and Jenkins, all these database testing, all of this you can learn. Right, if you scroll down on the modules, like for example over here, we have got uh, the subtopics mentioned out here. If I go to Selenium Grid, so there are two modules in Grid. So you have everything out here. Okay, in module number 37, we have explained about Maven as well. Right, Apache Maven. So you will get everything. Fine. Now you'll also learn how to build the frameworks and implement end-to-end -end scenarios. This is the major goal. The goal of this course is to help you build frameworks. There are different types of frameworks. Okay. If you look at the framework modules, fine. Then module from module number 18 to module number out here at the bottom model number 25 all of them are frameworks okay we have covered data driven hybrid keyword page object model with page factory and in the end we also have covered um, you can see that cucumber bdd okay this is a very important thing and a lot of people look for cucumber bdd right so that will help you out and you can actually work on a project independently after learning from this course Look, I cannot say that you, you, you will be able to do this in 20 days or something, but it takes time. It takes 6 to 7 months of practice for you to reach a level where you can clear an interview or you can work on a project independently. Fine, it's not something which can happen overnight. Fine, but it, it's something which takes time. But yes, if you give in time, this will certainly come to you. Right. And moreover, if you learn Selenium, then your ability to learn other tools, it increases. Other tools like, for example, tool like Appium. Or a tool like tomorrow you want to learn Web Services, SOAP UI. Or you want to learn JMeter or Load Runner. Fine, there are, these are load testing tools. If you have a programming knack, if you have a programming background which you get from Selenium, then learning all other tools, it becomes easy. You are able to grasp it easily. If you want to learn QTP, you can also, or UFT, it's, Uf, it's called UFT these days, it becomes easy. Fine. Okay. So, if in a brief, this is the module distribution of the training, right, on this, under the Selenium training section, right, there are different modules. Fine. So, the modules from 1 to 7, they cover Java, then JUnit or TestNG, IDE, WebDriver, Okay, frameworks are covered, all the types of frameworks. We have shown grid, okay, how to run parallel, how to execute the test cases parallelly, how to introduce frameworks with grid. Okay, RC is also covered, which is the older version of Selenium, right, that is Selenium 1. And apart from that, we have SVN, Maven, Flash, Testing, Database, Jenkins, Git, everything. And in the last module, if you look at the last module, scroll to the bottom, then there is a model number 44 which covers all the types of interview questions. Fine. So you will be able to learn everything, the frameworks, you, you will be able to implement the framework with Maven, implement grid on it, implement reporting and all that stuff. Okay. Let me give you a brief overview how the framework works, right? How it works, what you can achieve and what are the goals of making the framework. Right. Now, if I show you in brief, which I always, I always give this example, when you make Selenium scripts, okay, suppose uh, these are your Selenium scripts, fine, and suppose this is your test case 1, and this is your test case 2, this is your test case 3, and test case 4, and similarly, you have got a lot of other things. You would want that these scripts should execute in a certain order one after another. Or 
you want to skip any one of them you don't want to execute say tc2 you want to execute tc2 then tc3 and then tc4 or you want to execute all the test cases parallelly so that you save time on grid so you have to batch run the test cases you have to batch run them optionally you have to batch run them parallelly you have to batch run them serially so there are various uh, running methods which you can actually adopt right moreover when you are running the test cases you would want that the data for the test cases should come from some excel file or an xml file or we use a properties file as well fine we keep the data separate from the test cases along with that you need to generate some report okay you want that some html xslt or you want uh, some other kind of extent reports to be generated in the reports you should have the screenshots of the errors right whatever the error message came up while running the script whatever failure it came up right you should have the screenshot of the page you would also want to generate some logs right what do you mean by logs suppose if the script is running for um, say 10 hours fine and you want to know what happened at each and every moment so you need to have a log file which will describe that fine this is what happened at each and every second when the script was running so to collaborate between all these things we use centralized frameworks like test ng or we use junit or uh, you know these days bdd is also famous tools like cucumber okay so it is required so these are centralized controllers okay what they do is that they help you to read the data from excel file they will call the test cases in a certain order which you want or help you execute them parallelly as well they will generate the reports they will generate the logs moreover if you want to integrate this complete thing with say jenkins tomorrow you want to integrate it with jenkins so you can also in integrate the complete framework with jenkins fine selenium as a tool is only inside this blue box selenium will not help you to read the properties file and all that stuff okay this blue box the bigger blue box which is out here this is selenium fine moreover you would want to implement uh, tools like uh, maven as well so that can also be done with the framework so this is a generic thing this is a generic statement in which i have explained you the framework right now there are various approaches various methodologies to build a framework data driven framework keyword driven hybrid so all of them are explained out here like module 18 is data driven framework 20th is hybrid framework with uh test ng okay then you have the 19th framework which is hybrid keyword plus data driven framework right uh, with j unit and out here you have got uh page object model with page factory design pattern right so this is again a different type of framework then you have got uh, basics of cucumber and a, a project on cucumber as well building a framework with cucumber so everything is explained in detail each of these modules is over 5 to 10 hours so everything is in detail all right